The two greatest champions Wimbledon has ever known, Billie Jean King and Rod Laver, set the seal on a memorable fortnight of tennis when they opened the dancing at the Grosvenor House Wimbledon Ball. The championships are over for another year, but memories of the world's first open tennis tournament, where pro and amateur faced each other across the net on equal terms, will linger for a long time. Moments like this, Rod Laver and Tony Roach in the men's singles final. Two top Australian professionals playing, not only for the coveted trophy, but also for the £2,000 plus prize money. Labour was two sets up and leading in the third. Labour serving for the match. It was all over. Rod Labour had beaten Tony Roach 6-3, 6-4, 6-2. A convincing, superb victory by one of the all-time greats of tennis. Princess Marina presented Rod Laver with the cup, which has the greatest prestige value of them all. Laver was a worthy, memorable champion. For unforgettable whiz-bang action, the men's doubles final takes some beating. On court, John Newcomb and Tony Roach versus Ken Rosewell and Fred Stolle. The fifth and final set. Stolly serving. The all-professional, all-Australian final was a real power game. Playing close to the net can be dangerous. Stolly will vouch for that. Newcomb serving at match point. Stolly's return went out of court. Newcomb and Roach were Wimbledon doubles champs for the second time. They're gaining the title they won in 1965. It had been a grand, entertaining match of 70 impressive games. Princess Marina, one of the keenest tennis fans at Wimbledon, handed over the trophies to the victors of a hard-won centre-court battle. But perhaps it was the ladies who provided the main attraction of superb championships. Reigning Wimbledon queen, Billie Jean King, met irrepressible Judy Teagart in the women's singles final. Billie Jean serving. This was the year when Australia's Judy Teagart was the darling of Wimbledon. She certainly pulled out some great tennis. Billie Jean King had made a slow start, but quickly got into her stride. But Judy Teagart made her fight. Still, as the match progressed, the outcome became inevitable. Billie Jean King's amazing skill was taking her closer and closer to the title for the third year running. Judy Teagart served to save the match. But that was it. It was all over. Billie Jean King had taken the women's singles title for the third time. A grand hat trick. Judy Teagart had played excellent, exuberant tennis, but it hadn't been enough to overcome the mighty American. And so once more, Princess Marina presented a trophy to a worthy champion. Wimbledon was over for another year, but what a year it had been. Bad weather had marred the start, but fine organization had put the events back on schedule. And what events they were, the greatest tournament the world had ever seen.